Hi everyone, Siege back here, and welcome back to Monster. Sorry, welcome back to Tethys Train, where we try to learn about the ins and outs of Tethys continuously until we get good at it. And last time we were here with Tethys, we were able to assemble a run that had a very weird upgrade set for Horned Warrior being a double incant armor 2 that eventually paid off because of railhammer and then we get got assisted by resonant charge for scaling defense with lights gift and just multi-strike from gurg's goat so it was in a way a somehow semi-cursed run at the start but then we got through the early game and eventually we started to cruise so I guess that's one thing you have with Tethys and Hellhorn. Um, the real hammer um, high roll is very powerful. So today we are going to be moving on to Default Awoken. So that means Restores. Um, restores are also decent incant cards. It put minus ones on them and you can also lean into hollows here for Tethys. So... We know that's a possible line, so let's make sure we take a look if that's one of the lines we need to assemble today. Now, in terms of our cards, we are going against um, Sap Seraph with Rage Fell, Pushback Talos, and... We are going to be going into that run with Energy Siphon, Vine Grasp, and Guardian's Amulet. So, 4 zero cost cards, which makes it so that incants are a bit easier. However, Energy Siphon is a damage amplifier of spells, wherein the best spell we currently have is Frozen Lance. So... We might want to draft something to pay off from Energy Siphon here. And we also have a form of defense here in the form of Guardian's Amulet. Although this card is a bit too expensive to play out on its own, you usually want Offering Token or maybe a Discard card to hit this one and get discarded by that function. We are starting off with a Horde on Ring 1. And money on ring 2, which is good. Now, how many temples do we have today? Is this going to be a difficult 3 temple run? It is 7, 6, 5, and 4. Okay, 4 temples without a ring 8 temple. That's fine. Um, earliest we could do the infusion is ring 4. Um, as much as I want to pick up one of these artifacts, I might not be able to if I opt to grab the money in the middle. Yeah. Now, Magic Shop Dupe, Ring 8, Opposite Steel Shop with Vortex. And then a Double Shop on Ring 7, Magic Shop with Cave, Steel Shop with Horde. Double Shop on Ring 6, this time Trinket Shop with Caverns Horde. Opposite that is the steel shop with removals. The shops so far on ranks 6 to 8 are all decent in the thought that all of them have some sort of value. Ring 6, trinket shop. Sorry, not we already done with ring 6. 6. Ring 5, magic shop with money caves. Decent. Opposite a uh, second dupe of the run, which is with. A vortex and some health. We haven't seen a quad dupe run so far. Ring 4, Steel Shop, Awoken Banner Money, opposite Steel Shop with Vortex. Ring 3 is Helven Stygian, opposite Horde Health. Not so good. We might want to get some value out of this Helven to power ourselves up. Ring 2, Magic Shop Money, Steel Shop Stygian. So maybe there's a possible Shark Angle. You have to decide on Ring 4 if we're going to the Steel Shop there. And again, as mentioned, we're starting with a Horde. 
So let's check our champion for today. What do we have? Conduit and Handheld Totem. Both are actually not so great. Conduit makes Frozen Lances free here. Don't have incans yet though. The sweep, we don't have a very good way of amplifying that damage. Which is a bit concerning. We are running into a Stygian banner here. No Awoken banners in sight until ring 4 with the Awoken banner. Something to take note of. Can we visit the magic shop next ring? Not a very good magic shop take because it doesn't have a unit and it's only in the steel shop that we have one. Do I need handheld totem sweep? I have backline access, so not really in keen on getting that handheld totem. Um Conduit does have double the damage of Handheld Totem. And if we're playing top floor, we can benefit from spell weakness. And we don't even have a very good spell to bank on that. So... I am looking at the angle of playing Conduit at top floor. Just because he has 10 damage and Conduit has 5. I mean, Sweep has 5. Okay, that's that's something we can work with. Conduit and Totem Fragrant do work well. So I think we grab Totem Fragment and try to assemble a magic-based spell build to kill Floors. Iron Drop Cage is not a very good take here. The Descent cards of Awoken and Stygian are towards the mid game. So I might need a Totem Fragment here to boost my damage. And I don't really think I could take the Horde. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be a problem if I take that. Let's move on without any shards here. Hmm. Mark of Invasion. If I take this and get out of this caught free or alive, I am going to be able to go into ring 2, maybe buy something from the steel shop and not have to pick up the divine boons. Which means... I could go ahead and pick up Divine Horde, 15 shards, do Infusion here. I think I just don't do the Infusion on Ring 4 then. I think I can take this. Yeah, we do have some solutions that we can draw into here. Oh. Okay, we draw into two. But that kills Tethys. And I can't really play middle, bottom, because Tethys will die there. So I think I just play double Frozen Lands here. And chill. Can't play Tethys. Do get a train steward here. I can reduce that floor down to one unit. Okay, we're taking hits as expected. I can pull. Hmm. I think there's no way out of this. I could pull this or I could just pull these two. I think I just pull these two instead. I don't think that changes anything really. Typhon here. 
Okay. Um. Probably should start blasting here. <laughs> Can I get out of this? I need to kill that back friend somehow. This is dire. I see Tethys. That's a saving grace. I can heal. Okay, I think he goes down to 48, hits me for 3 times. I survive 11. Yep, we survive. As long as we're alive, we can keep fighting. There's your Helical Crystallis to pay off from both Totem Fragment and um, that spell thingy. Wildwood Sap is decent. It's a good sustain from my front unit. Although I'm not seeing Awoken units here. Um, hmm. Do I visit the magic shop here? Uh, I don't think so. I don't have a unit. I'll probably die if I don't pick up one. So it's Stygian here. Um, does that mean I want restoration detonation? I'll grab Wildwood Sap, I think. A very powerful sustain in terms of heal. Hmm. Does restoration get affected by conduit? Maybe. I'll grab Wildwood Sap here, I think. Let's go right. We need a unit to survive. Large Stone plus 25. Stygian Banner is... Shark. I think I should grab the Shark here. Because I can pick up the large stone. And shark could be my dupe here. Yes. Let's go ahead with that decision. Let's drop in the large stone. On shark. Um, I won't pick up the money. Because I'm going to the dupe. So I move on from here with just that large stone. And that large stone should save me from High Priest for sure. And that extra unit job is very needed for us to survive this run. 5, 10, 15, 20 kills them. I think I should play... Oh, I can't play middle. I need to play top floor. I'll play shark middle. I think Tethys should go on top floor. And I mean, these does technically nothing. There you go. I get to clean up the collector in middle. Yes. Pull this guy. That one doesn't really change anything. I should have played Restore. Okay, let's heal the shark. Let's play Wildwood Sap and we secure the victory here. Shark just carried us one whole game with bottom play foot bottom floor place. Very good shark. Very well played. Another Helical Crystallis, a thing, 
which is a bit stronger than than vine grass or i could pick up crypt builder another strong spell maybe i should i think i should Ooh, another vine grass steel enhancer and preserve thorns it's a good draw accelerant i'll take that Ooh, we're given a lodestone totem here. That does play well with frostbite. With shark. I think I'll snag that lodestone totem. We did set ourselves up for a good incant line. Grab lodestone totem here. Ooh, it's an old stone totem run now. Now, I still definitely think we should go right here. We need a vessel for that lodestone totem. And we need the second shark. Okay, there's the second shark. Could just pick that up. Um... Or I could grab the Silophyte. That could be the vessel for my unit. And then I chase the steel shop here. Awoken Banner could be a hollow. Hmm. What are the hollow units? Or is there a hollow unit that's a bit too expensive? All of them are one cost. I can play with a sweeper. I can play with the hollow. I can also play with the animus cess. The problem with the sweeper is... I don't really scale damage. So I'm going to be relying on Shark to apply Frostbite and to sap down floors so the Pyre kills them. Hmm. Second copy of Wildwood Sap is not bad. Um... Then I also have to take Ember Tax here. Hmm. So I grab the Icy Silophyte and then just look for a different vessel for the, the Lodestone Totem down here. My dupe. Then is going to be something like maybe Preserve Thorns or even Wildwood Sap is a good take there. Let's grab the Shark. Checking the Horde gives me a very good Guild Marker here. I don't think it's Exile. Let's grab Guild Marker which makes our money go a bit farther. The... Do I check the hell vent first or do I check the caverns? Check the caverns first. Okay, it's a removal. I could cut one of the train stewards then. Hmm. Yeah. Cut out one train steward. And then for the hell vent, I go for a second copy of Preserve Thorns. Hmm. Yes, I think I'm fine with that play. 30 
cards at this point is a bit scary, but I think I'll be able to manage this. Okay, it's a lodestone totem draw into turn one, not good. Um, energy siphon, frozen lance is the play. Where's my shark? I just play shark Tethys Tethys here, I believe. There you go. Um, Reserve Thorns Sting. Um, try to sting middle, I guess. Heal the shark. Um, heal the shark, I believe. Heal the middle shark then. Um, pull this guy, Siphon. Set him up for a kill in middle floor. Yes, with the frozen lance. Um, play preserve thorns up top. I pull to the front. I blast. Can play a train steward. I can puncture this guy. Okay. Where's my Tethys? There she is. I pull this guy to the front. Sting kills him. I can play the train steward bottom. Uh, double frozen lance. I need my lodestone totem. Game, come on, give it to me. Oh, I can't play it. Bit sad about that. Nothing I can do about it though. And I just drop Siphon into Crypt Builder. And we should win this. Okay. Is Shark a very powerful unit? Yes, he is. Oh, quick. Uh, don't think I'll be needing quick. Where are my minus ones going into? I could grab this cycle of life to make Shark a little more sturdier. I think I will do that. Okay, here are a bit better units to work with i think i like nameless siren here yep grabbing that unit that's gonna be our vessel and we take the ember tax here we go left endless is good no endless incant armor is also good temple says a minus two it could be good in cycle of life um, champion says sweeper. Do I want the sweeper that is? Don't think so. It's a minus two. Grab this. Probably gonna be going to conduit three. Awoken here is an animus of will. I mean, it's just shark infusion, nameless siren into lodestone totem. Look for a multi strike. And that's it. That's the setup. Do believe so. That's the setup. So I don't need the animus of will here. Yeah, we skip. Or do I grab it? Hmm. There's another removal loop coming up. Can I get value out of that? Hmm. Don't think I'm taking this. I think Shark will be able to carry us through this. Um, Nameless Iron Gates the upgrades, and I put Lodestone into that unit later on. I could put in a plus 25 here to make him a bit more survivable for now, and we do see our multi strike. Great. Okay. Now, 
who gets the infusion here? Hmm. My floor is going to be Siren, Lodestone, Trethys. If I infuse Lodestone Totem into Siren, doesn't change the fact that I can't play Titan Sentry with them. So Titan Sentry plays bottom or middle alone. Um, do I give him the infusion and I keep these two separate for now? Did invest in a plus 25 on the lodestone. Um, problem is, I have a bit too many banner units here. Go magic shop, steel shop here. What do I do with the removal do? Just train stewards. I think the magic shop is a bit better. I could see maybe minus ones and preserve thorns. Intrinsic. Is there a play on intrinsic here? Not at this point. Minus two is good on cycle of life, actually. I think I hold out. I can actually dupe the siren coming up here if I do the infusion on them instead since it's already fully upgraded yeah I think that's the play here so I wasted 25 gold but I don't think I really wasted it it's safe it was safety so play this here Okay, I skip out on the minus two. I don't think I need to take it particularly. I could use my money to remove a bit of a unit. And I think I will. Cut one more train steward. And since I do have money here, I might just remove one more. Yes, I will remove one more. Cleans the deck down back to 28, which makes it a little more manageable. Let's move on. Ooh. Okay. Multi-strike, I think, is beneficial for us. Let's activate that. Maybe that's Founding Seal. We get to see Shark here. And then Shark again. And then Tethys, top floor... Where in I mean doesn't really change this, so I just do that. Vember tax goes into play. I get to play my lodestone on top floor. Double incant. That's good. Keep out on cycle of life. Um I get to play everything here. Hmm. Okay, wait. Do I kill this unit here? 20, 20, uh, 46, 66. I think I blast middle. Okay, I play Reserve Thorns. I Wildwood Sap. I blast. I blast once more. I blast again. Encant. Sting. Blast to clear out everything. Should have played the other shark middle, I suppose. Okay, I get this open. I pull. And then I continue the encant. Do this. I sap down the floor. Zero. Don't take any damage from that. This jumps to top floor. I think I would like to scale a bit more. 
So I will do this. Get some frostbite. Four hundred. I do this. I heal on top floor. And we should take this victory, no problems here. Yep. Bye, sting, sting, frozen lance. Yep, we get the victory. Kinstone totem. Do I discard anything by random? Hmm, maybe I get something eventually that does that, so let's take that. Um, glacial seal is here. No, it's not the time for glacial seal. I think the urchin spines might help. Hey, let's grab the crystalline seeds actually. Um, spikes? No, we have, but I don't think it's a good investment. Fire grow gives me more, but I don't think I need it. Let's skip these cards. Okay, we go to the dupe. Dupe is just our siren. Get the second copy. Removals are going to be train steward one. And... What? Pick the regions. I cut one. Yes. It doesn't get affected by conduit, which is not ideal. Um, this card I can actually put into Crypt Builder with a plus ten in piercing, and that should be good. Or I can actually put this in Preserve Thorns, put a minus one in it, and have a very good turn of a lot of incants and scaling. Feels good, actually. Hmm, going to this steel shop to look for my endless. Hmm. The last dupe is probably gonna be a spell. Hmm. Do I do the infusion now? I can do it next ring. I'll grab the spell chain. So is it Crypt Builder here? Or does the play on Preserve Thorns feel a lot better? I think that feels a lot better. And I move on. Ooh, Crystal Cloak. I can handle Crystal Cloak. I can sap him down. Okay, Shark, bottom. Tethys, top floor. Helical, restore. Shark is dead. I can Vine Grass. I can play Lodestone. I can pull this unit here. Where's my shark? There's my second lodestone. Drop this unit in. Incant, incant, incant. We survive. Okay. I can play. Reserve Thorn, Energy Siphon, Rip Builder, and then I Incant, Incant, Incant. Okay, here is the Preserve Thorns play that I was referring to. This ensures that we always draw the maximum number. Oh, I think I missed out on the other copy of Preserve Thorns by accident. Okay. There's Crystal Cloak. Shark. Please handle that for me. Do this. Do that. 
play that. Okay, that's a lot of sap applied. Two stealth is manageable. Okay, that's a lot of damage to be dealing to Crystal Cloak. I think we can manage to sap Crystal Cloak down by doing this. And he's down for the count. Quick and easy. Oh, uh, I don't think I need these cards. We skip. Ooh, Edge Prior is here. But... I can't fit him on the floor. Region Spikes is here. And Wildwood Custodian is here. Don't think we need any of these. We skip. Go to the steel shop. Look for Endless. Ah, uh, sad. No Endless yet. We reroll this, of course. Another multi-strike. Sad about that. A bit sad about that. Plus 30. Um, I think that definitely goes into Crypt Builder. Removals. Might want to keep some of the heals. So let's cut one Frozen Lance and one Restore. I want 10 in piercing and spell chain on that. This plus 30, I don't think I'll take. I could put that into a heal. But I'd like to pick up some better upgrades in the long run. Do I do the infusion? I think I still hold out on that. I still have one more chance. Actually, two if I really want it. So let's hold on to that infusion for now. I think I can cut a bit more. Cut one of the vine grass. I don't really need one of these. Uh, I'm fine keeping both actually. Hmm. Cut one of the frozen lances. We have stings. Um, we push on. Okay. Play shark. Middle. Tethys goes top. Crack open the sting. Last, last, last. Thor's Thor. I get one of my sirens. Ooh, it's a bit bad. We draw into both of them. I really need to infuse this shark. It's causing me some problems that I do not want. Okay, I need to draw through faster. Okay. Um, reserve thorns play out. Glass this. Reserve thorns once more. There you go. That's a lot of south applied. I did not draw into one of my friends, so. Hmm. Play Vine Grass, Energy Siphon, Energy Siphon, Guardians, Trip Builder, Frozen Lands, Frozen Lands, Frozen Lands. Just play out the cards. We should draw into our friends. We did. Um, Incant, Pull. Okay, we survive. Okay, I 
do that. I blast, blast. I can play cycle here to keep the test a bit over the top. Not die to random sweep. Oh, that's a card with all stings. Should be able to sap down decent levels. Tethys gets this. I get this in front. Play this. Pull. Sting. 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 I can actually cut restores because of armor. Um, I can play this. This. Siphon. Sting. This. 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 Thing. Okay, and that should be boom, boom, this, 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 and one more drag, and we deal with fell. Our deck is currently not doing that much except encanting. I think I need to fix that. Harness the Titan is a good power up for all of our spells. I think I'll grab that. It's a good minus one target as well. And... I think... Draw? Or Ember? More Ember? To play out Sirens? No, it's Draw. I want Shark Upgrade. I think this is the last time I'll be looking. If I don't hit, it's a bit sad. Spin, give me my endless. No, game does not give me my endless. I just make a very big shark, I think. And I infuse that shark into shark. Nothing I can do about that. Game did not bless me with what I need. Um, I think Root Split Mask is needed here to keep units on the floor. Um, not grabbing anything from that. Conduit here goes to... Conduit 3? Do I need Conduit 3? Not really. I'd rather go chill wind for more damage. And I move on. So the last shop we're going to is the magic shop then. We can handle the aggressive amulet. We can sap that down. Um, Siren. Drop. Stethys. Drop. Health. Then I pull this unit in. Okay, I play. Oh, I can't play. I need to play Lodestone here. Crystalline Seeds does secure Collector. And then I play on to Incants here. Oh, we, we did draw into the Preserve Thorns. Boom. Or Blam. Incant Blast. I was not able to hatch the other preserved thorns, but I think we'll be fine. Um, I get to... Vine Grass. I think they can go up without any issues. So I think I'll pull on this unit here. Siphon. Blast. Then pop. 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 Yeah, we're getting through the units. Okay. We have enough sap to deal with this. Okay, we get our shark middle. Which really helps out with the damage thing. Thing. Okay, that front unit is dying. 
But we just need to sap the floors down and we should be good. Okay, I do see the preserved thorns, which I think I'll crack open. But I think I misplayed that. I should have done other things around. And... Well, that unit is dead. Should pull the stronger unit to the front. And one more final round. Yeah, there you go. Tap, tap, tap. He secured the victory. A guardian stone that I can't fit on the floor. These are all dead units to me. Ooh. I think I'll grab... Well, channel song does help. And I have root split mass. So let's grab channel song here. Should help us play out the rest of the unit. Skip here. Don't need that. Exactly a thousand gold. Look at that. Where do you see that number there? We gave up on shark. Let's go to the left here. Need some minus ones. Maybe Founding Seal is somewhere here. How about Tempered Talisman? Firewall is... Interesting. I could do this on Preserve Thorn so that I have more spells per draw through. If I could play 10 Incants per turn, that would be awesome. I think I'll do this. Plus 10, dump that on Crypt Builder. Minus 1 on 1 of the Preserved Thorns, make it free. The 2 point swing. A Permafrost here. Um, I want to make sure I get to play this card if I in case I draw it in a bad turn. Another minus one should go into the other preserved thorns. That's four spells in one. The dupe here. What's the dupe here? Could have put minus one on this harness of the titan, but I don't think it's too important. I could just make another preserved thorns here have a lot of extra cards per turn really sap down at divinity i could consider that uh, let's look at the shop first tempered talisman is a lot of value hmm. i think i have enough hp let's spin this golden vault Hammered chest plates though. Puts Tethys at a comfortable 13. Which should allow me to play her on the first draw through. I think I wanna cut cards. Basically, cycle of life is too expensive. And what else is a card that I'm not really seeing myself playing too much? None. So I'll just grab Icicle Fracture here. And then I have my Artifact. Silence seems good. Although extra draw power is, I think, correct. And then I get to do one more thing. Just drawing more cards. It's a lot of plays. I think I'm fine with this one. Yeah. I could incat so much in one turn with that. Yeah, we move on. 120 out of 100. Let's see how well we built this incant line of ours. Patient is sapping. How well can we sap against her? Let's see. 
And the extra HP actually applies to our sirens as well, which is also a positive. There you go. Okay, I think I need to play the siren for sure. Um, Incant here. Vine grass. Crack this one open. Tap the boss down already. We get to get the shark. That's good. I can play that middle floor now. And then I incant the hell out of top floor here. Because I do not want to die. Uh, pull this unit to the front. Blast it out. We have sapped several units down. Conduit not enough to proc that. We're clearing the floor so that's good enough. Shark is gonna die soon. I have 8 cards in my hand. Um, play preserved thorns. I get 3. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Play this. Play this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I can play this one out. Then buff everything in. Play this card. And just incant the rest of the things here. There you go. Ooh, I even draw an extra one. Forgot about Sap Tap there. Okay, there's my Preserve Thorns friend. Need to make some space. Let's do this and this. Play Preserve Thorns and we get to play more cards. There you go. Um, play the cards we want. Do this. Pull this one out. Preserve thorns gets me three extra cards. More stings. More sap. That feels good. This incant cards. Ah, I'm all in, I'm seeing all purples. Just click this once over and over again. I'm up to 47 sap on the boss. Can I play basically everything. I get to draw that card again. More place. That's a lot of damage. Ooh. Feels good. Boom. Boom. Okay. You can even get to play another Preserve Thorns here. Ooh, that's 72 sap. Negative 144. There you go. We win. I think Divinity is going to be basically the same. Hmm. I like this turn. Because I can play Shark and my Siren at the same turn. Which means I am sure to draw... My other siren turn two, which means I can initiate the ultra incant turns moving forward. Yep, I've sapped the boss down to zero. 
which means Tethys is gonna be living. He does not sweep, so he's not gonna die to spike. Um, wait. I need to crack this open. Crack this one open first. I get this one as well. Um, I need one, two, and three ember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. I guess I just play Harness here for now. Do this. Then crack open the two other packages. And drop them in. There you go. Boss is down to zero. I need to handle the spikes somehow. I don't have that answer to the spikes right now. Um, hmm. Let's play Siphon. Three, six, nine, eight. Can open up one of them. Can open up another. And one more. I put the heals on Tethys. So that she survives. And we chill with the rest of these cards. Okay, we need to deal with this line here. Um, pop this one. I need to handle these units. Well, I have root on them, so I don't think it's a major issue. Harness, Channel Song, Wildwood Sap, Blast. Don't think I want everyone to get spikes, so I will pull him into the front. And I will pull this one in can't and we clear everything actually a little micromanagement there slow this down a bit um pop 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 get out of the way i need to hit the boss boss is dead uh Just healing into the front. And then... Energy Siphon and the best we can do is a 15 damage thing. Don't think I really need to think too much about this, but... I think I assembled a very good incant line. Uh-huh. I need to crack... This open and that one open. Okay, this guy has one spell shield. Do that. Then blast him to nothing. Three, six, seven, eight. I can pop preserve thorns and I can go back to the incant business here. Can I beat a record with this run? Number of incants, maybe? Mm, I can pull two units here and destroy them. No curses next turn. Buff my card. There you go. I did take some minor damage there. But no curses this turn. I can remove his damage shield and... Destroy him. I can pop his damage shield and somehow destroy him. And one final guardian's amulet should secure us the victory with 173 sap on the divinity.
Did we play well? I think we played excellent here. Oh, there's even one more sting there. Solid run. Ooh, I love that. That's a solid incant line. Let's go to the run summary and talk about this insane incant line. No records broken, but that's one hell of an incant line that we assembled. Um, that makes me love, where is that card? Preserve Thorns. If you're in an incant line and you see this card, I do believe it should be a snap click most of the time. I, I don't believe it's always, but it's four incants in one card. And if you put a remove consume, every time you draw this, that's four incants on your draw through. With this preserve thorns, uh, this minus one spell chain, this is eight incants on the turn you draw this. If you play with Wormkin, you can actually bring this back, and that's going to be an insane incant line. Um, one optimization here, I do believe, was maybe cut a little more restores. Sorry, a little more, yeah, restores here. Because, well, they did help in keeping Tethys afloat for a bit. Could have cut a little more of these restores. Um... What else should I be talking about? This Guardian's Amulet was a bit too expensive. I rarely was able to play it. Um, Harness the Titan as well here. Um, I could have given up on Shark, I think, a, a turn earlier and go to another Magic Shop, I believe, if I remember that correctly. And we could have put some minus ones in the other cards, like, as mentioned before, Guardian's Amulet, maybe the... Cycle of Life could have gotten some minus ones. The Harness of tit the Titan definitely needs at least one so that you can play it turn the first card on every draw through. And other than that, I mean, Titan Sentry is awesome. It would have been amazing if he had Endless, but we had so much incant that we just destroyed the rest of the run. So yeah, a very confident incant line here. So leave a like or a dislike if you enjoyed this. And as always, guys, remember, Siege Today. Thank you very much for watching.